Fifth story tonight, man did it work, revealing the pain contortions of the GOP. Now the GOBP is going through as the defender of big oil. It began with an apology. Sorry our beaches got in the way of your oil. Sorry the birds and the turtles and the Louisianans inhaled so much of it. Almost. Texas Congressman Joe Barton, ranking member of the Energy and Commerce Committee, apologized to BP's CEO, Tony Hayward, for what happened at BP's meeting with the president yesterday, at which BP agreed to create a $20 billion escrow fund for compensating Gulf Coast residents impacted by the disaster. And I'm ashamed of what happened in the White House yesterday. I think it is a tragedy of the first proportion that a private corporation can be sub subjected to what I would characterize as a shakedown, in this case a $20 billion shakedown. So I'm only speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for anybody else, but I apologize. I do not want to live in a country where any time a citizen or a corporation does something that is legitimately wrong, is subject to some sort of political pressure that is, again, in my words, amounts to a shakedown. So I apologize. Because it's one thing when a president puts an accused criminal in prison forever without a trial, but when he asks a convicted criminal to put some of its profits into a bank account, he's gone too far. And because Republicans, the GOBP, are more concerned with the rights of criminal corporations than the rights of working class victims, Congressman Barton argued that having the Justice Department, which is investigating BP, in yesterday's meeting about the escrow fund amounted to, in his words, a shakedown. If I called you into my office and I had the subcommittee chairman, Mr. Stupak, with me, who was legitimately conducting an oversight investigation on your company and said, if you put so many millions of dollars in a project in my congressional district, I could go to jail and should go to jail. Of course, Barton is conducting an oversight investigation of BP, and BP has, in fact, put money into his district, into his pocket, in fact. $27,000 in campaign donations is $1.4 million from oil and gas in toto, making him the industry's number one recipient in the House or in jail, if he's as good as his word. But it was Barton's apology that had Republican representatives like Florida's Jeff Miller calling for Barton to step down as ranking member of that committee. Barton, just hours after his first apology and remarks, insisting he wants BP held accountable, not quite apologizing and not quite grammatically. If anything I've said this morning has been misconstrued in an opposite effect, um, I want to, uh, to apologize for that misconstrued. Uh, misconstruction. Among the misconstruers, House Republican leader John Boehner calling Barton into a meeting this afternoon, and despite Barton's wish to live in a country free of political pressure that amounts to a shakedown, he promptly caved to Boehner's shakedown. Boehner reportedly telling Barton, apologize immediately or lose your position immediately. He apologized immediately. In a statement distributed by Boehner's office, Barton is quoted as saying, I apologize for using the term shakedown with regards to yesterday's actions at the White House in my opening statement this morning, and I retract my apology to BP.